this video I'm going to show you how you can create these Celtic knot earrings using the Blender application template Grid Designer for 3D printing. So if we start the uh, application up, um, we go to Object Library. First of all I'm going to use a, a cross, so uh, we select the Patterns Crosses uh, Library. Um, range of crosses available, I'm going to use number 22, so if we just click OK just scrolling back and pointing outside of the uh, box there and uh, the default size of this the bevel object is one by two so that's the thickness of this uh, cross so that's just in the properties panel there um, we want to now add a Celtic knot pattern to this so again if we go to the object library we can find the Celtic knot pattern in the parametric patterns and um, a range of patterns we can use. I'm going to use the four leaf Celtic knot pattern here. So we click OK and I just scroll back again and point outside the box. Now if we look at the cross, the cross is a little bit too high at the, for the center position so I'm just going to switch off the snap and just reposition it like that. That's better. Um, now if this is going to be an earring I need a, a ring at the top so again if we go to object library uh, under jewelry findings we can, you can find some rings and I'm going to use the first one which has got an internal diameter of one and a half millimeter so we just click OK and position that at the top there and we could just zoom in and make sure it is it is centered nicely okay now if you were printing that at shapeways you might want to leave those dimensions as being different if you actually want to print this on an FDM printer I suggest you go to tools object tools and join the ring at the top to the cross and click on the Celtic knot and hold down shift and click on the cross and go to tools object tools and join them and that object will print really nicely now on an FDM printer which is the one here on the right in red um, now if you want to add a gem to this if you just go to view and top view if you've got uh, dual craft on your system you can select dual craft and uh, I'm going to use a, an Asher gem and I'm just going to change it to an emerald that's just gives me a different color that's all and uh, click on add gem and in this case I'm going to use a three millimeter gem and if I just zoom in and just pull that up and then over in the um, dual craft menu if I go to dueling and click on prongs that will add the prongs so you just need to now uh, export that as an OBJ file, uh, run it through Cura and then you can print it on your FDM printer. If however you wanted to print it at Shapeways one of the things you might want to do is to make this object a lot thinner. Well we can do that by um, going back to the outliner, going to the object library and the first item there is 3D templates cross sections and so um, what I'm going to do is to use a rectangular cross section here and click OK and again I'll just click outside the box so it just positions it in the center. Now that object has got dimensions of one millimeter by one millimeter uh, but we could change it um, but essentially to thin, thin out the Celtic knot cross earring if we change the bevel object to this cross section rectangular one that'll change it to one millimeter. Now obviously we would need to reposition the gem and the prongs but that's fairly straightforward. So that's how you can actually change it, print it on both FDM printer here in red on the right or perhaps in silver at Shapeways. Thank you.